it's open week, which means it's stinger season. So it is open week this week. If you are watching this video and the open has already been done, this will still help you immensely with keeping that ball under the wind and being able to control that ball flight on a windy day. Now, in order to keep that ball under the wind, nice and low, there are three things that you can do in order to help you achieve that nice low launching flight. Now, the first thing on our list of what we can do to lower that flight is of course the most simple one. Change the loft of your club. Change the club in general. This one here, I've got a nine iron. I've also got a six iron and I've got a three iron. Now, these clubs obviously have less loft to them, which means they will go lower. So the nine iron will go higher than the three iron. But what if we still need to hit that ball a certain distance? We still need to keep it under the wind, but I'm sure that a 150 yard shot doesn't need to be a low three iron. So what else do we need to do in order to keep that flight down? We can simply change our ball position. So I've got the six iron in my hand and theoretically, if we have the normal ball position that we would take with a six iron being slightly forward of center, we're going to see that that golf ball is going to go pretty high in the air. And if we keep that ball position the same as we normally do, we're going to see a shot like this. However, if we put that ball back in our stance, what that helps us do is it keeps our body in front of the golf ball, which is ultimately going to deliver more shaft lean, which is then ultimately going to deliver less loft. And you're going to find you come up with this shot. And the final thing we need to do in order to keep that golf ball low is we need to take speed off our golf swing. So if you notice in those two shots I hit for you, you'll see that this one here, I have a completely full finish position. Versus the low shot that I hit, I have a three quarter backswing and a three quarter through swing. I've also taken a little bit of speed off my normal shot and that's helped keep the spin down on my golf ball and it's required or it's kept that golf ball nice and low. So let's run through those three things again. If you need to hit the ball lower, the first thing we can do is change the club, of course. However, if we're trying to hit to a specific distance, and obviously we don't wanna use a three iron for that distance, we need to be able to learn how do we hit the current club that's in our hands? How do we hit that lower? The second thing is simply change the ball position. Normally your ball position would be forward in the stance or forward of center. And what we're going to do is we're going to move that golf ball ever so slightly back of center. And the final thing is we're going to keep the speed off our golf swing. And, be, and to do that, we need to do more of a three quarter swing. We want to be more in control. That way we're not putting too much spin on the golf ball. And the less spin we have, the lower that ball is going to go. So putting all those three together, I've got my six iron in my hand, my ball back in my stance and a three quarter swing and that's going to help this golf ball come out a lot lower. So while you're watching the golf this week, make sure you're paying attention to those three things. You'll notice that players are changing clubs. They're going for less loft. They're going to put the ball position back in their stance just a little bit and you're going to see abbreviated follow throughs to keep that ball nice and low under the wind. Hopefully you all enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.